and he is known to be the uh, Egyptian who had the invention in heart failure and he'll be telling us about this invention right now. Thank you for joining us Dr. Iheb. Hello. Uh, you've recently participated in a conference in the United States in Washington DC and you delivered the main speech at the conference and uh, where you described this invention so would you tell us about it? Well, actually, this is uh, an invention for treating patients with heart failure. Mm. Those patients have a terrible um, uh, fate if they don't receive the appropriate treatment over time. Mm. These patients actually uh, may have um, a low uh, uh, survival rate over five years. Mm. That's why all uh, um, the treatment strategies in the world now uh, hit these patients with heart failure because this is the most uh, devastating disease in the world. Mm. This is the number one killer in the world as well. But do we have any statistics about the numbers of Egyptians suffering from heart failure? Well, in Egypt actually we don't have uh, fixed statistics about the prevalence. Mm. But worldwide, uh, heart failure affects 2 to 3 percent of the whole population of any nation. Mm. That's a That's very a big number. figure. Mm. And the, um, uh, the course of the disease over five years is not very uh, pleasant. Mm. So the world now is trying to beat this disease. Mm. Recently, uh, yesterday, in one of the world's uh, greatest conference in uh, the United States of America, it's called the American College of Cardiology Conference, mm. there has been uh, uh, so many uh, um, uh, trials trying to fix this problem. Mm. Um, of course, they didn't yet reach any they try to make surgery for these patients to remove part of the diseased weak muscle and then reclose once more the heart but actually they found no benefit after several years of trying this study and this was actually uh, very embarrassing to the medical uh, co committee but what does a heart failure patient suffer from exactly well the heart muscle is uh, a pumping muscle it's the strongest uh, it's the it's the longest muscle that uh, stays working in the whole body mm. because um, it, it works in contraction and relaxation mm. over one minute you can uh, anticipate 70 times contracting and relaxing mm. each pulse is a contraction and relaxation once this muscle fades it cannot contract it cannot relax well, contraction means uh, the ejection of blood into the whole circulation, including the brain, the head, the whole body, and then relaxation to accommodate more blood from elsewhere, from the lungs, for instance, mm. after it has been uh, filled with oxygen. Mm. So now you don't have a good contracting muscle, you don't have a good relaxing muscle. That's why no, blood, is not blood is not given to the tissues, and the patient has sense of weakness and fatigue and shortness of breath as well. The muscle, when, once it's uh, uh, weak, it progresses in weakness and can fire uh, abnormal pulses, which at times may be uh, fatal and causes death of a patient. Is it genetic? Uh, there are many forms of heart failure. One of them is genetic. Mm -hmm. It's uh, determined, genetically determined and uh, uh, it comes through uh, this uh, way in some genetic diseases. So what but are the chances for survival? The chances are dismal for these patients. Uh, I'm afraid to say that over uh, five years we lose almost um, more than 60 percent of these patients over mm -hmm. five years and by the seventh year mm -hmm. uh, almost most of the patients are uh, lost. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've been working on this yes. invention mm -hmm. because the nowadays um, strategies to treat this disease have not been proven of benefit. Mm. Um, I tried to make something similar to the um, native heart which mm. we, with which we have been born. Mm. And if you can uh, see this mm. is um, the green area mm. is uh, the one layer of the invention, one layer okay. of the device I made. And um, it's uh, sticking to the native muscle mm. and has another area one one is sticking and the other is reflected upon it okay. the one with the reflection has got these cords intersecting cords mm. these cords can shorten mm. and once they shorten they can 
uh, approximate each two opposing uh, uh, walls mm. in all directions, whether uh, uh, horizontal or vertical, mm. and this causes the heart to contract. And these cords, when they elongate or relax, they give back the walls to their original position. Mm. And this is the native uh, movement with which we were born, that, uh, uh, its contraction and relaxation. In this way, we can obtain the same movement of the uh, natural heart. Mm. This is one mechanism. Another mechanism, instead of pulling the layer in green, we can uh, put some device between the two layers in green so that it pushes one of these green layers into the center and then backwards. Mm. Mm. This is the one in the other model. This is the one here. Uh, it, this one, uh, this layer, green layer, mm. comes into the center from all directions and then retreats backwards to uh, the native uh, tissues, to the native, to the natural heart muscle. Mm. This causes contraction and relaxation. In addition, oh. between the two layers, there is the so-called pacemaker. Yes. The pacemaker functions that uh, it controls the mechanism, the operation, the movement. Mm. And the pacemaker as well has an incorporation inside it of a uh, defibrillator. The defibrillator gives a defibrillator or the DC shock, shock mm. to the muscle. Once the, this muscle, this natural muscle, has got firing of uh, killing arrhythmias or fatal arrhythmias, mm. this DC shock would prevent it to uh, uh, perpetuate and at instantly it stops this ventricular or this uh, fatal arrhythmia. So correct me if I'm wrong, these two systems or two mechanisms are for two different patients? For a uh, week, uh, I, I have uh, I made my invention on uh, four mechanisms. Mm. Uh, according to the industry, they can choose one of the four. These are two and I have two more which I, uh, I haven't had the patent yet. Uh, and I'm, I'm working on that. So how different is the condition of the patient that might need the first uh, device or the second device? Well, both can be used to the same patient. Mm. The same patient with uh, the heart failure. The patient with the heart failure has got a, a bigger heart, mm. which is um, not functioning well. If you can consider that these are the walls of in the heart. In terms of size? In terms of size, the normal heart approximates its layers like this and then comes backwards. Mm. This patient with heart failure can just do like this and that. Mm. So there is no pumping action, so blood doesn't come out. Both mechanisms can work the same and mm. can do the same uh, function. Mm. Have you started working on uh, this mechanism and this invention to be manufactured and be used? Uh, you mean to manufacture in Egypt? Still, um, it has a high, a little high technology. Mm. We're not, uh, maybe at the present time, we're not ready for this. Mm. Uh, I have been uh, in the United States. They invited me to see what I've done, mm. and I showed them this. Uh, they, some, some patients in, some uh, doctors in Cleveland and in Texas, were really amazed, and they asked me uh, to join uh, um, one mm. of the companies that the leader manufacturing companies in this. Uh, field in order that they can take over the idea and try to manufacture it mm. and I'm now um, ongoing uh, talks awesome. with one such uh, company. So how long do you think it might take before you start actually working with such uh, an invention? Well, uh, an invention first, uh, possibly in, 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 in some different stages. Number one is that you have the idea and the design, that's what I've made. Then you make some, something called modeling. Modeling is uh, like you, how, how it works, mm. but not uh, particularly on the same um, uh, prototype, on the same heart. And then after that, you make a prototype. A, a prototype is something like this, but mm. that works. Mm. It goes in and out. Mm. We don't have really the facilities to make the prototype. I have made the design and I've made the patent. I have made the patent in the United States and Egypt and uh, a preliminary patent all over the world. Mm. And now I'm trying to make the prototype with other companies in the United States. They are, uh, um, we are holding some uh, talks together. But even if it was manufactured in the United States or anywhere else in the world, you can still use it here in Egypt? Yes, of course. If we sign such a contract at one day, 
Uh, I believe one of the m most important terms is that I uh, can have it for uh, the Egyptians uh, at no cost or mm. at the, uh, exactly the, the, the real cost mm. for, with no benefit or no profit for the company. I, I believe if this works, uh, it will uh, help more than uh, in the United States, more than 750,000 patients per year are mm. added to the list who need such a device in the United States alone. Mm. Uh, you can imagine the figure is too big if we cover the whole world. Mm. And there are always misperceptions about heart disease. People don't think it's that... Uh, uh, they wouldn't consider that it's the number one killer among, um, among all diseases around the world. So. Mm, I don't want to say that people underestimate heart disease, but don't you think this is usually the case, especially here in Egypt? Uh, in Egypt, we don't have real uh, good statistics, and we need to um, to, to to spread this uh, knowledge uh, of the diseases, especially heart failure and heart diseases, mm. for uh, the lay people. Mm. They actually don't know much about this, mm. and heart failure should be really prevented than treated. It's mm. the best way. Mm. So if we go on educating patients and making seminars, uh, this will be better for these patients and for the whole population in the nation. Prevented how? Through well, we, uh, heart failure is uh, precipitated by risk factors. Mm. Um, risk factors, number one is hypertension. Mm. Hypertension is a... High a cholesterol. A high cholesterol. We call it hyperlipidemia or dyslipidemia. Mm. And ischemic heart disease. Ischemic heart disease is that when uh, some patients would complain of having chest tightness or chest pain and uh, in addition to diabetes in addition to hypertension smoking mm. we have to educate the, 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 the lay people about the risk factors if we prevent the risk factors definitely we will uh, decrease the incidence of this uh, fatal disease mm. uh, Dr. Ihad Dawood uh, your uh, consultant of cardiology at many hospitals especially the Italian hospital in Cairo we thank you so much for joining us and we wish you the best of luck your invention and uh, we hope all heart failure patients uh, recover i hope so as well Inshallah. thank you very much thank you so much and thank you for watching and stay with night cruise